What's up guys, Jez here, Whisker Fight TV, and it is episode 73 of, I guess, Whisker Fight TV. We are tasting a bottle of Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. Beautiful looking stuff, if you ask me. So, let me get this nice and close, we'll get this popped, and then we'll go through the story. So, as you can see there, Russell's Reserve. God damn, can you not? Thank you. Russell's Reserve single barrel, let us get this sucker popped. So, I'll pull this out and then we can talk about it. Russell's Reserve single barrel is 110 proof, 55%. Spills a little bit there, but that's okay. 55% non age stated, but according to the people on the internet, it is about uh, eight, nine, or 10 years old. Um, and anything that doesn't make the like the single barrel will get pushed to the, the ten year stuff. But you know, that's how the internet people talk, I guess. Uh, we're looking at about seventy seven Australian dollars or fifty five dollars uh sorry, sixty five dollars US is what I found it for. People might be getting it cheaper, they might be getting it for a little bit more, but online sixty five dollars was normally the roundabout price. So as I said, 110 or 55%, however way you look at it. Number four, alligator char on American oak cask. They run a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. So, let us hook in. I just want to smell this because... Mm. <laughs> it's all the good notes. Okay, so Russell's Reserve, the child of the distilling duo, the father and son distilling duo that is Eddie and Jimmy Russell. So, Jimmy Russell first started at Wild Turkey, or also known as Austin Nichols Distilling, back in 1954, roundabout. And he has created some of the products that you all know and love today. So, he came out with the Rare Breed, the Kentucky Spirit. I don't know if you can see either one of those two behind me, actually. I've got some here, so... <clears throat> You know, your, your Kentucky Spirit, your Rare Breed, just in case you guys may or may not have seen them. Um, I do love a bit of Wild Turkey, if you haven't noticed. So, it's funny that I'm even reading off the sheet. But he also created the first ever bourbon that was infused with honey, according to Wild Turkey. I didn't really date the, uh, the history books back that far in 1976, which is absolutely crazy. Now, jumping over to his son, Eddie Russell, he joined the family business of whiskey making uh, in 1981, but started on the lowest rung of the ladder. So his, his pops didn't go, hey man, just jump to the top with me and we'll start distilling the wonderful juice. Uh, after two decades of hustling and working his way up the ladder, the lads released Russell's Reserve in 2003, which is... I'm not too sure which one they released with. Well, they released a brand, but I don't know what actually came out as that expression. I don't know if they've got the two available in Australia being the 10 year and the single barrel. I know the single barrel didn't turn up until late, but you know, they had to get the stocks ready and everything good to go. So these is claimed that these two hand select all the barrels for the Russell's Reserve single barrel, but whether that's just marketing hype, whether it's the truth, I don't know, because who has time to hand select all these barrels and then push them internationally is beyond me. Now, let us kick this sucker off. As I poured out my dram earlier, we're gonna just quickly walk through this and see what notes we kind of come up with. I'm gonna suck that out of my shirt, I didn't realize I just, like spray that all over myself. That'd be fun to watch back actually. So on the nose, you kind of met with this, like initially just this alcohol there. But once you kind of breathe through that, let it aerate for a little bit and then try again, you're kind of getting this like vanilla cake frosting note. I like, Like a little bit of sweet, a little bit of oh, sweet sugar, cake 
vanilla cake frosting, but then that kind of moves away. You get some cherry, cherry tartness. And then some oak there as well. Moving on to the taste. Mm. Give that puppy a bit of Kentucky chew. Make sure you don't put it down the wrong airway or the one airway. <sighs> okay, so turn that on a bit of a thick viscosity there, which is good. Like you can basically chew it, which is nice. Uh, you got that cherry, some oak, a little bit of cinnamon happening there as well. But I'm going for another taste now. I'll talk about the uh, the finish. That was a palette, by the way. Okay, so it's got that bit of pepper there as well. It's nice. It kind of feels like they're um like a rye as well with like a. So finish before I get into that, uh, it's got a long finish. It's kind of like finishing out with some fresh mint, some oak. As I said, like a little bit of pepper there as well. But all in all, like good stuff. Um, we are at six minutes. So I think we're sorry, six minutes forty seconds. So we're moving through at record time. So I may as well finish it up here, I guess, with the buy bar or pass. So couple of my notes I've written down as taking just everything on board and seeing how I feel about everything uh, we've got first one great price like looking at doing a direct comparison for Australian dollars to US dollars it's as I said 65 for what I found 65 del before delivery for US market 77 for Australian market and that's in stock as well for like 110 proof cannot go wrong i know in australia you're looking at about 65 bucks for their 101 so probably like a little bit less in age statement but still once again great price we do well with russell's reserve and well i guess wild turkey in general in australia so it's good stuff uh there's bold flavors and plenty of cherry and oak notes so i do enjoy the fruitiness of bourbon uh, plus, it's got that good age statement with that long oak, super light. <laughs> well, it's not even an age statement that reflects really the oak, but that oak was more predominant in this bottle than what it would be in something else I've tried. So, moving on, the finish was long and gave me a little bit of a Kentucky hug there as well. And I enjoy that. I like being held by my bourbons, um, especially being 110 proof too. It's like, just hold, hold me tight because this stuff is good. So I'm gonna drop that down as a bar, bar, buy, sorry. Drop that down as a buy. Um, Cause 77 bucks, cannot go wrong. It is good stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video for your Whiskey Wednesday, because I enjoyed filming it. Uh, please let me know if you guys have tried the single barrel or if you've tried like a store pick. I know the majority of my followers are in the US. So you guys would be tasting all those delicious store picks. I even know that Steve Aoki did a Russell's Reserve single barrel pick. So if you guys got your hands on that too, that'd be super funky. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Please let me know in the comments uh, what you enjoyed most about this. Because I like hearing it. But yeah, thank you. Love y'all. I think that's it oh yeah don't forget to follow me on socials but if you don't that's fine i don't i don't care do it though i love y'all stay thirsty peace